How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I don't have a place to put my glasses because Dixon doesn't have a... We'll just stuff them in there. I'm on my way back to Calgary. I'm currently house-sitting. Well, not currently house-sitting, but in the grand scheme of things, I am currently house-sitting for my parents in British Columbia. Uh, but I'm bouncing back to Calgary to see my little girl. I'll be back in Calgary for three or four days. I can't remember. All the days are starting to blur together. <laughs> and yeah, I'm get up nice and early today. I'm just at the ferry landing. I can actually see the boat is almost here. So we will be living out of bags for the time being. And I got my vitamin in the back here. And actually, Grace, my Jeep Wrangler, actually has a 12 volt plug back here. And the vitamin is sitting at 89%. So let's get this whole power station sort of going here. I need, not that one, this one. So we are going to plug this into the charge port down here. There we go. And then we will get the Irish Pirate Queen ugh, to give a little bit of power to the Vitamin. And I have my TENS machine with me. I'm going to need it for sure with all of this driving, but it's a little on the um, dying side, let's say. So I know I packed cables for this. The question is, where did I put them? Uh-oh, not in there. <laughs> Maybe in one of these pockets. This is the problem when you have too many pockets. You never know where you'll put anything. Got it, it was actually in the little wolf pack bag. Let's get this bad boy plugged in here. Get the TENS machine plugged in. Why can't everything just be USB-C? It would be so much simpler. All right, there we go. So we're getting some power there. Leave that up there. Grace is also charging her. So we're good to go. And yeah, I talked to my physical therapist before I left and told her all about the driving that I would be doing. And she, you know, obviously wasn't too impressed with that, but you can't put your life on pause. She did ask if does the Jeep at least have heated seats, which of course she does. And she said, use that as much as I can, because that's when I go to my physical therapy appointments, a lot of the time she puts the TENS machine on my back and then I lay down on this heating pad at the, the end of the session, which is really nice. So that'll help. Um, I don't know, I've been having a lot of discomfort in my leg. It might be because I'm in a province where there's a lot more moisture in the air. It could also be because I'm constantly trying to wean myself off of the Tylenol and the Advil. Um, I don't like the idea of taking as much as I do, but when the pain gets intense, I mean, that's what that's there for. All right, so I'm going to be in Calgary, like I said, for three or four days. I have an Airbnb that I will be staying at. I wish I could sleep in grace and i do want to get her like camping ready in order to do like so i can do that the weather is still just a little bit on the chilly side which is funny to say because here it's like zero degrees celsius right now but back in calgary this morning it was like minus 10 and apparently it's just covered in snow so that's great the airbnb is cheap enough it was like 74 dollars a night which beats the pants off of any hotel um but still staying in grace in the long run would be way more cost effective. We'll get there. Another thing that's sort of like, well, not, I guess a little bit frustrating, but I mean, it is what it is. I ordered a blend jet before I left for BC and I thought it would arrive in time, but it ended up getting delayed by a day. And of course that was the day that I had to leave to come out here to BC. So there's a blend jet sitting in my UPS box. I wanted to start making myself smoothies and whatnot. Um, so I'm excited to get back and get that. And you know what? We've done this drive so many times from the beautiful province of British Columbia right into the province of Alberta. I say we just cut to the chase and get to the UPS store. Uh, oh, right. I totally forgot I got this color. <laughs> Pink blend jet, because why not? Now, more importantly, ooh, when I pulled over to use the washroom, I decided to use the fuel that I had in my new Rota packs to fill Grace up. Not too bad, gave me about an extra 30 kilometers of range, so good experiment, figured that out. However, what I forgot was that these stupid stock pour spouts that come with the Rota packs, for lack of a better term, suck balls. I guess that would be lack of better terms. But either way, I'm fighting with this stupid thing and I got gas all over my hands. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed in the sink with the pathetic little soap that they provide, but they 
Yeah. So we gotta make another stop before we go get the Pyre Princess. Yeah, who remembers in the last video when I took the disposable gloves out of Grace and put them into Lucky saying, yeah, I won't need these. Yeah, and can I grab the key to the washer? Yeah. <laughs> if you want, I can keep this with me for now. Uh, I need to use it. Oh, That's okay. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Spilled some gas on my hands. The one on the left. Thank you. Fast orange pumice hand wash stuff is a mechanic's best friend. And now I guess Grace O'Malley is the proud new owner of a bottle of it. Oh, all right. And we still have just enough time to get over to the car wash and give the Irish Pirate Queen a bath because that trip through the Rogers Pass did a number on her and also Guess what she's out of? But hey, at least I had it on hand this time. Also, don't forget to put these back in. I popped them out so that they don't freeze on me again. It's gonna be a little bit colder these next few days in Calgary than it has been in BC. I don't need them freezing up on me. Perfect. Well, actually, Daddy's not staying in a hotel this time. Daddy's being a little extra fancy. I mean, I guess that depends on who you uh, ask. Um, can I watch some TV? Not right now. But, here, hang on. What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> you could talk to me, your father. How was your day? Dead. What'd you do today? Um, I played. Oh, you played? And what else did you do? You're digging around in your wolf pack? <coughs> There's no candy in there. There's no candy in there. I ate it all. No. Yeah. So for dinner, we're going to go meet up with Lindsay, Sadie, and Amber. But it's still early. Do you want to come check out the Airbnb that Dad got? Play where? You want to go see it? That's where Daddy's going to stay while he's here visiting. Sound good? Let's do it. Tally freaking ho! What are these? I don't know. Let me see. Did they leave those out for you? Oh, wow. Lucky girl. I think they knew you were coming or something. I mean, we brought these. That's to be fair. Daddy, I'll take these. You don't need those. All right. Nice little spot. So, uh, located in Evergreen in Calgary, which is in the south end of the city. So very familiar with the area, which is nice. There's even a pool table, which is pretty cool. So maybe... Lord knows I could use the practice after the last game with my father. Anyway, I think it's pretty much time to just sort of get stuff wrapped up here. And we're going to go have some dinner. And then we'll see what else we get up to. I think the first thing on that agenda... Hi! <laughs> I think the first thing on that agenda is dealing with that rotopack situation. But first, make sure your eggs are in the fridge. Perfect. Ugh. 
All right, and that'll pretty much do it for today. Just picked up a few little staple things I forgot, obviously. Don't want to smell bad. And I want to give the blend jet a try in the morning. I'm really kicking myself now because I put all of my tea and those eggs into the mini fridge at the Airbnb. I didn't actually take notice whether there was a freezer or not. Nobody likes soggy strawberries. Oh boy. Well, we'll give it a shot and hope that the top is the coldest. I mean, it's all going into a blender anyway, so. even faster than the solo stove. Ugh. Anyway, I got a package from just Cam and his Jeep in the mail as well as my blend jet. Why do I have schmutz on my shoulder? I also got a big box from Bill in Old Denver. It is a box of, I'm assuming, a CB radio. We'll get to that later. It's still packed away. In the meantime, let's see what Cam said. Hello. Usually there's a room. Yes. Open sesame. What is this? Silicone matte blue. For what? It looks like an ice cube tray. What is this, Cam? Oh my goodness. Oh, is this for Brooklyn? It's like a little um thing for her to paint on. Oh, paints go in there, not ice cube trays. Ooh. Well, that's super, I'm assuming it's for her. Maybe it does pop out. Oh, it does. That's for the water to rinse the, that is so cool, Cam. And it's perfect timing. Look at this, there's even like a little spot for the brushes to go. You sit in there, you put paints in there. I gotta go buy paint now. So thank you for that. But actually, that's super cool. Cause I'm gonna have my little girl uh, the next two nights over here. Um, get as much time as I can while I'm here in the city. So thank you very much. I will set this up on the table for her. We will go hunt for some paints tomorrow and I will enjoy my one evening on the actual bed because the next two evenings, my bed will be what you're looking at. It's actually pretty comfortable. Cherry from Ravina, very tasty. The strawberries <clears throat> did not survive the night, obviously. They're a little moist now. But I have a sneaking suspicion they'll still blend up just fine. Get them in there. All right. Is there like a max fill line on this thing? I mean, probably. Not the normal yogurt I would use. That's one of the reasons why. I hate it when my yogurt does that. Um, that's all that was available when I stopped last night. Yum. All right. About to pop my Blend Jet Sherry. Please don't screw up. It just goes on its own. Well, how about that? I have a feeling I have strawberries, not getting it blended. <laughs> what the? Get down there, you. All right. Let's see how much of a mess we made. I highly recommend not unscrewing it from the base because then all of your smoothie will fall out and get everywhere. All right, 
makes a good smoothie, which is exactly what I was looking for in the van. Again, this was something I saw on Instagram, this blend jet. And okay, it does that all right. But the big thing that it boasts that it was appealing for me is the ease of cleaning because in a van, this is all sorts of yuck. So let's see how well it does that. Just add water and soap. A little bit of soap. Okay. A little bit of water. I'm not gonna worry about getting hot water because when I'm in the van, don't always have that as an option. And slap the lid on. And there we go. Okay. Get that out. Huh. And one more time. Well, I mean, I might have to get some soap for Inside Lucky, but yeah, that was super easy compared to any other blender I've ever had. They never come this clean. Now, granted, I haven't used anything like protein powder on this thing, so it might be different. I also like the fact that the base comes off. It's clearly very upset that I did that, but that would make this easier to clean than any sort of blender where it's, uh, you know, stuck in the bottom or whatever. Like, where this doesn't come off, that's what I mean. Anyway, so far, very happy with the blend jet. Can you stop freaking out with that light? No, oh, you just get your poop in a group. Right, it's a lot, a lot cooler here in Calgary than in BC. Lots of little things to do today. We also have to start by taking that blanket to the laundromat, and then that will free up the laundry bag that it's in, because I got some <clears throat> dirty ginch. I gotta keep organized. And yes, I've got all of my recycling and whatnot here. I'm schlepping it out with me. It's just a van lifer in me. I don't want to leave it inside for them to have to get rid of. Feel just a little bit more responsible when it's an Airbnb in somebody's house. You know what I mean? <sighs> and yes, I know. I could have just probably thrown in my Revita Energy Tea into the smoothie, but I'm still trying to figure out which flavor I like the best and putting it into a strawberry milk yogurt smoothie definitely would have diluted it. I don't know, man. Black cherry's definitely up there. Yeah. Okay, move the CB radio. <laughs> Grab the cat hair infested blanket. And let's go let the laundromat babysit it for a little bit. <laughs> she says, the weighted blanket, again, said with an air of, why are you so dirty? To which I had to say, no, 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 it's not that it's so dirty, it's that it's absolutely infested with cat hair. She gets this look on her face, like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I understand, you might not be able to get all the cat hair out of it, and there's no rush on the blanket. I guess the only other solution is just get rid of the big fat pussy. Everybody just calm down. All right, so these rotor packs, I absolutely love them. Unfortunately, the spouts that come with them are sucker balls. Well, I already did this to my diesel tank. Uh, I guess it's the same style. I guess rotor packs changed this up a few years ago. They're just absolutely brutal. So I'll take this off. This is the spout that comes with it, right? This looks pretty cool. It's black with a little red highlight. Very sleek and dumb you make it work is you have to turn or twist the stupid little red dial right now it's locked and then when you're filling in your jerry can you have to push down on this thing oh it's not even gonna work right now that's awesome see what i mean it's frustrating af maybe it has to be on oh there goes the, the top oh there we go yeah that little red thing couldn't be on and it wouldn't be on when you're filling it you would take it off with this and then it's unlocked and you have to push oh my god push See, it doesn't stay locked. You push there, you really gotta hold it. Like, so do this shit. And not only that, but it leaks. The seal around this thing is absolutely shit. Sorry, pardon my language. But it is shit. <laughs> but it is. This is absolute junk. And it leaks. And it's very frustrating to use. A better alternative are these bloody ones here. There's also other ones on the market you can get. This is one I had from an old jerry can. It's been riding around in my rear seat storage in Grace for a while. And these are just fine. Unfortunately, the problem with these 
They're a little on the long side. Normally that wouldn't be a problem, but these Rotopacks have this stupid, weird white filter in them, which I just, I don't understand what that is for. I'll explain in a minute. With my diesel one, I, it still has that white filter in it. And this thing, I just sort of hacked off the tip. Yes, just the tip. And it fits in there just fine. I don't want to hack this one because it's going to be harder to get into the gas tank. So I like the length. <laughs> this is just, all right. So apparently these little white filters can be ripped out of here. I don't know how hard it's going to be. Got my Leatherman on me. Oh, it doesn't look like it should be that hard. And then when I said that these filters, like I don't understand them because yeah, it's this big ass filter that's in here. So you think, well, any gunk that's in your fuel will get filtered out and it won't go into the roto packs. But where does the fuel come back out when you need it? Back out through the filter, isn't it just gonna push the, anyway. Let's try to get this nonsense out. Oh yeah, super simple, just peels. I'm just using the blade. Hiya, there we go. Try not to cut the red part. Any, I'm probably gonna wanna rinse this out uh, after I do this because any like little plastic flotsam and jotsams that I uh, accrue here on the inside of the bottle, I'm not gonna want that going inside Grace's tank. I'm telling you guys right now, one of the handiest tools to have Van life or otherwise, Leatherman. They great. Come here, you bastard. Right out. Look at that stupid phallic bullshit. Get rid of that. All right, now will this actually fit in here or will it hit the. Oh my god, it's perfect. Well, it should still work. Let me put the lid on. So much better. Dude, I thought I was going to be struggling with that filter forever. There we go. Now my Rodopex can stay without frustration. <sighs> okay, I also picked up myself another bottle of washer fluids. Now we've got two on hand for the trip back and then back again. And I picked up a bottle of water when I was in Canadian Tire as well because I forgot to fill my bottle of water at the Airbnb. Oh, that's how cold it was last night. Yeah, a little bit of water that was left in there is now ice. Well, that's good. It'll chill this water because this water is just room temperature. Ooh. There we go. I'm not even in my van and I'm still dealing with these stupid bottles that are way too full. More portable. Hopefully I don't forget this in Grace. I don't think it's gonna be cold enough to freeze that amount of water. Let's get serious. And I am on my way to my physical therapy appointment. I scheduled those to land on the days when I'm in the city. Not just a hair rack, my friend. During this case, a two crack. It's odd that I made it for this time of the day. Uh, it's in the afternoon. I usually do it in the morning, so it's sort of out of the way. It must have been all they had available. I don't remember now. I do remember that I won't be seeing my regular therapist. She is on vacation, as she do. Thank you, Grace. Conserve your gas. Stupid auto off feature. Turn that off. Yes. So I will be seeing um, another gentleman there and just get it sorted out. Get this pain under control. I mean, I'm doing a bang-up job of it myself with all of the medication, but damn. Anyway, get this out of the way and then it'll be time to get the Pirate Princess and off to an indoor playground for this evening's activities before retiring back to our Airbnb. Ooh. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's always interesting when I see the gentleman that's not my regular physical therapist. I feel like he, he works me out a little bit more. And now I gotta pop over to the co-op that is here. I'm gonna grab some groceries for Brooklyn and High to have in the Airbnb for breakfast tomorrow before I take her to school. And then it will be time to go get her. There's lots of construction going on as well. Cheers. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Temperature? I'm not done. Here, 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 here,
just dropped the pirate princess off at school. And now we are going to go get Grace that new windshield. Well, actually, I've got just under two hours before her appointment for her windshield. So I'm going to go down and see about potentially getting her tires rotated. The thing with towing Grace behind Lucky is I can't really rely on her oil change due mileage numbers to also do a tire rotation because when you think about it while the mileage isn't going up when she's being towed the wear and tear on her boots is i don't remember when i last had them done but i've been back and forth to bc a few times in grace and i've towed her a few times as well so with all of the driving that is coming up i figured well we're in the city we may as well get the booties a swippy swapped Oh, excellent. It looks like they need something to do. There's three of them standing in there and they all just looked over at me as they saw me turn in here. How's it going, guys? Uh, you here for an oil no, tire rotation, please. Tire rotation? Yeah, do you want me to move? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I should have said something. All good. <laughs> then we move over to bay three. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. And just a rearward cross, eh? Uh, so back tires to the front and front tires yeah. cross to the back. Yeah, thanks, man. Last time I was here, they weren't certain. They wanted to put the spare in and stuff. <laughs> and whilst I get Grace's tires rotated, we do a little bit of editing on the very tiny. I guess that's not really home on wheels. But maybe one day. Exactly. Right? That's why I wanted to get the 23, because the 24s have the antenna integrated into the windshield now. So it'll be that much more expensive when they do brake, right? Just silly. All right, bro, don't work too hard. Yeah, Thanks, fine. man. <sighs> All right, tires rotated, cost about 70 bucks. It's the price you pay when you got a broken back and you can't do it yourself, but, and you want it done fast, and you don't want to leave your vehicle, I suppose. There's definitely places they could have dropped it off, but, I'm already dropping her off to get a new face. Which way do I want to go here? Where am I going? I'm going that way. Okay, fine. Figuring it out. Now, I still got, ooh, just under an hour. Maybe we rip up the road and get some filters for her. I don't think I'll be able to actually replace her air filter today because the, the screws that hold the air box down, they're not just clasps like Lucky's. And I don't have like, well, I guess I have my Leatherman. Let's see what happens. Oh, what a great complex. You can get shoes, auto parts, and you can get your ingrown toenails removed. All in the same parking lot. Talk about convenience of the city. It's also a good time to switch out my jacket. I've been wearing the camel one for a while. Hello, Mystic. How are you? Huh. <sighs> oh, you're a little chilly. Shocking. I also need to fill my water bottle back up. All right, water bottle full, into Wolfpack, ready to go when we get down to Glassmasters. Oh. And get rid of some garbage that was starting to compile in grace. And then we will go into auto value and we will grab ourselves an engine air filter and a cabin air filter for Grace. Cabin's super easy to do. Well, I shouldn't say super easy, but it's just behind the glove box. And the, uh, the engine one's a little bit more difficult. But we'll see. We are also slowly running out of time. All right, bye-bye. Refuse. She touched it and then drove over and actually bore it for Oh, I never remember the number. Let's find Grace in the book of words. Ah, oh, there we go. We need air. Okay then. WA61841. I'm glad they made it a nice simple number. Yeesh. 610-841. Now we need PP <laughs> 10371. 
Uh, there she is. Thank you very much, sir. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> I had to get an adult. <laughs> but only because the book was out of date and they weren't even listing anywhere near this number. CF1399. Cool. Okay, I guess it's time to get over to Glassmasters. Actually, maybe I will take a peek under Gracie's hood and just see how hard this might be to do with the Leatherman. Uh, all right, all right. Doesn't look like it should be that hard. I might have actually made it more difficult for myself last time using my power tools. Sometimes you don't need all that power. Just need a little elbow grease. Just don't drop any screws into the engine. I say that from experience. This is gonna be the tricky one. It's a stupid, right by this electrical connection. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Ooh. Switch to the needle nose. Extract it like you're playing Operation. There we go. This and most Leathermans come with a screwdriver part and you can exchange the bits. This one, I don't know if this one came with this. I have a whole little selection of bits that fit in here. This is a Phillips and a flathead. Very helpful. In particular, this is the Leatherman Signal series, which is actually geared towards like survival and being in the woods. Comes with like a safety whistle, <laughs> a fire rod, knife sharpener, saw, all that good stuff. This is definitely one way to kill the time. All right, Grace, show me your goodies. Hmm, not too bad. Get that up there. Huh. Now let's do the actual test. Best way to test an air filter, get a light. I don't know if this is gonna work because I think this is dying. Now that's the best way to test, is to hold a light up and shine it through it. If you can see the light, then your filter's not dirty. Unfortunately, my light is broken, so I have to use the flashlight on my phone. BRB. Actually, this is even better. I can uh, I can use Grace's headlights, provided they stay on. Hang on. We have to do this quick, because this is a good example that looks can be deceiving. So, if I take my old air filter that I just took out and hold it up to Grace, oh, you can kind of see through it. Not terrible. The new filter, though, you can really see through it, right? So, I wouldn't necessarily say that this one is completely shot yet, but that is a that is a headlight coming through. I think since I have it, I'm just going to replace it. Hello, Grayson's headlight. You're being very helpful right now. But yeah. All right, so we got our new air filter back in the box. Just putting the screws back in now. For those that might not know the importance of an air filter, it is what filters the air that comes into your engine. Engines require three things to run, fuel, air, then spark. <laughs> and uh, if you got dirty air going into your engine, well, you can imagine that's not, uh, it's not ideal. That's why it's important to change your air filter and it's really easy to do. That being said, they will almost always recommend you change your air filter. We... <clears throat> When you go to one of those lube shops, they didn't today, um, but just be wary of that because it's not something that needs to be changed that often. Intervals definitely vary from vehicle to vehicle and driving conditions to driving conditions. If you're just in the city, then your air filter is gonna last a lot longer than if you're off-roading or driving in really dirty, dusty, muddy conditions. I can't find the whole common problem of mine. Nailed it. Oh, go slow. But yeah, if your driving conditions are worse and there's more chance of like, dirt particles getting into your engine, filter's definitely gonna get dirtier faster. Now, the cabin filter, not every vehicle has them. For example, Lucky does not have a cabin filter, but that is what filters the air that's being pulled in from the outside and being shot into your face when you're using stuff like your air conditioner and whatnot. So it's also important to change that. Like I said, mine and most are accessed through the glove box. If I think I've run out of time, to do that now, so we'll put that on the docket for later. We're just gonna cinch up Grace's box <laughs> and get on down to the glass shop. Don't forget, if you've undone any electrical connections, that you, you do them back up before you close up the plate. Again, 
I speak from experience. All right. A little dirty filter there. I should say semi-dirty filter. Close her up. And let's get the shuck out of here. All right, busted ass windshield. It's been fun. See you never. Ooh, look at these, no crack. All right, let's take her driving through the mountains and see how long she lasts. Right, and it is my last day in the city. Got my girl over to school early this morning. <clears throat> Still dark and early. Still winter. Just got the Airbnb all cleaned up and got all of our wolf packs into the boot of grace. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it a boot. I'm not British. <clears throat> I don't think anybody there will mind though. Well, who knows? Maybe. Cultural appropriation. It's a boot. Anyway, it's weird with an Airbnb. You always feel, well, at least I do, feel a little bit more responsible to leave it clean as opposed to like a hotel room where you know there's gonna be maid service and whatnot. And I mean, I probably could have left like my pizza boxes behind, but I had uh, Lindsay, Sadie, and Amber over for pizza last night with Brooklyn and I. It was lots of fun. Tried a place in town called Crispy Crust. As far as I can tell, it is locally owned and operated, and it was mwah. But back to the point, like, because you got like a kitchenette and stuff and dishes, so clean up all the dishes, put them away, and just make sure the place is basically the same as when you left it. It's very much like camping, right? Leave it as good or better as when you found it. So. It was very nice, and it's a little on the uh, more affordable side, which is super nice. So, now I got my physical therapy appointment this morning, and then it's just going to be a matter of killing time till I pick up the pirate princess again for our final evening, and then I'm hitting the road this evening and getting as far as I can and staying in a hotel. I'm not going to drive all through the night because that's insane. I'm old, and I don't like driving in the dark very much anymore. Maybe that just means we need more lights on the Irish pirate queen. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was crazy. I, who, wasn't that crazy? But I'm driving along and I hear this noise happening with Grace, right? And it's just like with everything that got done yesterday, I'm just like, oh my God, what's happening? Are my tires like coming loose? I hear this kind of like, it's kind of like a whoop, 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 whoop sound. It was kind of like, it felt like it was coming from over in like the wheel well area. I was like, is there ice stuck in the wheel well that's getting hit? Kind of sounded like a mud flap flapping. Grace doesn't really have like traditional mud flaps on the front though. And then I, I just, I'm losing my mind, and then I kind of look up, and I'm like, oh, wait a second. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that. Uh, it was the bloody tape from when I had the windshield replaced yesterday. It was flapping up and hitting on the roof, and these roofs are, you know, they're not traditional roofs. They're like, well, I don't know, I don't want to say plastic, but they're not made of sheet metal or anything like that, and not aluminum, so, like, when something's hitting it, Kind of ridiculous. But anyway, it hasn't quite been 24 hours, but clearly we don't need these. Ridiculous. So off they come. Yeah, it was this one. Like it's not even attached to the windshield at all anymore. It's just flapping in the breeze, driving me crazy. All right, what's the smart money on? Do we think we make it all the way back to New Denver without getting a chip? We shall find out. Okay, I gotta go get poked and prodded.
don't litter the tape. Right, this round of physio is complete for this week. Booked up for a few more times when I am in town next week, although the schedule is gonna be completely whack, as they say, the next time I am back here. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time to sort of get that all sorted out. It's just, it's mostly just scheduling with, with Brooklyn and her mom needing a certain time off for work and whatnot, and, and me coming back on the days that I'm available. So, sounds like a future Matthew problem, even though present Matthew has already planned it all out and we good to go. Now I'm feeling a little hungry. I have had my smoothie with the blend jet, which is awesome. I've used it every day so far. It's all packed away now though. But I did have a smoothie this morning, but now I'm starting to feel a little peckish. And there is one place here in Calgary that I have not been to in a hot minute. Sometimes I forget that I wanted to get a zoom out shot of the food before I had started eating it. Anyway, Benny's Breakfast Bar, one of the best places to have breakfast in Calgary. I have to say one of the best, because I haven't been to every single place. Calgary's is a very large city. Anyway, there is a wrangler dangler outside Benny's that I better leave a duck on, because it's been a hot minute since that's happened. Huh. The El Capitan duck. That's what really got my attention were those sick rooms. Hell yes, sir. I approve. I don't normally like color matched stuff, but you get a duck from Van Life Plus. Boom. All right, now I've got so much rolling around in my head when it comes to what I want to start doing with Lucky when I'm back there. I probably won't get to all of the ex really extensive stuff. I have to start somewhere. And I mentioned a little while back that there's been a intermediate leak from the rear ceiling fan. So I want to tear that guy out and I'll have to reseal it. Normally I could order this self-leveling lap sealant off Amazon. I don't have time for that. I leave tonight. So we're going to have to head on over to Woody's RV World. It's like the only place close to here that I know that stocks the stuff. Right, we're good to go on supplies. Now, fire princess time, and then hitting the road. You guys can live back there. Perfect.
in a word, that. Oh. Yeah, it's too bad uh, I'm not driving anymore in that. Of course it has to start snowing right when I want to leave. <sighs> My plan was to go to Golden and stay at a place there, which sucks because now I'll lose out on that money, but it is what it is. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I probably could have made it, but I'm already feeling tired. I had to sleep on that couch at the Airbnb and it wasn't the soundest sleeps I've had in a while. So yeah, better safe than sorry. This place is right off the highway in Banff and it's not too expensive. So I'd rather just stay here for the night, get a good night's sleep, hopefully, and then head out in the morning at first light. Cause even if it's snowing or foggy in the morning, at least you've got daylight to help out. Uh, this is just, this is just nonsense. And it was basically that insane snow just flying right at your windshield and being illuminated by your headlights all the way from Calgary with little tiny breaks here, maybe little glimmers of hope. The problem is, is after Banff, you've got a huge stretch of, stretch of highway uh, until Lake Louise is the next option. And I am not familiar with that area at all. So I'm back in Banff. <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. I spent a lot of time here in the last chapter of Van Life Plus. Not exactly how I saw the uh, return in chapter four going, but I'm glad it's here. And I think actually before I get too settled in for the night, I will go back to the Irish Pirate Queen once more, go into the town, to the grocery store, and get myself some stuff just for the morning. So I don't have to worry about going to a restaurant or anything like that. I've got my tea, my Revita tea, which is great. But I would like to make a smoothie as well in the morning. And I've discovered that that bag of frozen fruit, which immediately thawed because I had no freezer in that Airbnb, just goes to show when that, when that stuff thaws, the proof is in the pudding or in the syrup, chock full of sugary syrup that stuff is. So maybe we get a little batch of fresh fruit that would probably be a little bit, a little bit better. And then some yogurt and some milk. Okay, this is a sweet, maybe there's a, ice tray to make ice. You betcha. All right, let's go get a few groceries. Yes, and I got some chap lips. It's Alberta, it's dry AF. It's actually a nice little hotel here in Banff. The last time I stayed here, I was still working for LifeTouch, the school photography company. And I was out here doing grad photos, which was a great gig. It was my favorite gig uh, out of that entire job because I was you got to work on your own. You were out in Banff for a week. Your accommodations were paid for. You had meal allowance. And like I said, most importantly, you were by yourself. I liked working on my own in that atmosphere. And uh, yeah, this has these are nice little suites here with a kitchenette. And a, Pull out couch, pull out bed from the couch, whatever. Might be a nice place to bring Brooklyn in the future as well. But um, anyway, 
Before I sort of tuck in here for the night, I also stopped at the mailbox earlier today and I got a package from Down Under from Paulette. And I can see on the declaration what it is, but I'm hoping it's, it's local stuff. <laughs> Not that I'll be enjoying any of it tonight because I need to go tonight, but ooh, she sent me a whole bunch of candy and a card. Holy crap, Paulette. I mean, I wouldn't say it's specific to Australia, but it's all Haribo candy that I will eat. Thank you, darling. Put this over here. And she sent me a, a card. It's to me from her. <laughs> well, there, this is the most Australian thing yet. It's from a company called Koala Cards. Very cool. Hi, Matt. It's been way overdue. Sorry about that. Anyway, I thought you might like Aussie Haribo lollies. I yeah, I'm glad I didn't attempt to do an Australian accent there. Thank you very much. Oh, look, this guy just, actually, I've never seen these ones. Sour Skitty, Sour Skitty. That little guy looks like he's having all sorts of fun. I feel like I'll be diving into this tomorrow. I just hope it doesn't like continue to snow that intensely all night. One, because I don't have a snow brush. God forbid I remember that. It's in Lucky. Two, it'll just make the drive that much more annoying. But it'll still be easier in the daylight. Sounds like a future Matthew problem. But for now, I should probably get to bed. Oh, how, oh, how shall I ever fall asleep? Well, at least it's not snowing anymore. It's not such a bad night's sleep either. It's a little cold this morning, but it's winter, so that's to be expected. I just hope that the roads are nice and clear. I'm trying to get as early a start as I can here, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't wake up, grab my computer, and do a little bit of dabbling in the editing program, but that's just sort of my, uh, my routine these days, so. I guess it's time to get back on the road. <sighs> the sooner we get back to Penny, the sooner we can get on with it.